Last Leaf, First Snowflake to Fall by Leo Yurza. Long ago, before time, before sunlight burst across the universe, to give light to the heart of a dark green forest, before that light broke into glistening sparkles and was sent running and dancing across oceans and raindrops by the gentlest of breezes. Before rain fell and became mud puddles and seas and rose again to become clouds, to fall back to earth as rain again and again. Before forests had trees and trees had leaves and leaves fell and trees fell and trees grew and leaves grew and fell again upon beds of moss made soft for the first man to walk upon before chirpings songs and whispers brought joy to the forest before howling winds bid welcome to the first snowflake before the scent of pine journeyed on the wind linking heaven to earth earth to man man to eagle eagle to spider spider to bear and bear to heaven and then melted back into everything before raindrops washed spiderwebs in dust, before the first stone skipped across water, shattering a mirrored image of the sky, before shadows were placed by the hands of the Creator, across rabbit trails on moonlit snow, before the first man crushed dried leaves beneath his feet, hurrying to who knows where, before seeing, before being, before valentines and wildflowers, before fire and warmth, before the eyes of the first man, Watch the sun fall beneath the horizon. His eyes walked in darkness from star to star, the first adventures in the deep blue sky. From this darkness, snow was born. It began with a whisper. From the wind to the leaves, the leaves to the birds. Startled, the birds flew south. Gone were their songs. All that remained was the silent warning to gather food, to build shelters, to find the safe and secret place and to sleep. Deer moved to high ground, fish to swallow waters. Squirrels gathered, men hunted. The wind sent shimmers of sunlight across the dark waters of rivers and lakes. That is how fish were told of the snow. Wolves howled at the frozen moon, calling to the last cry of the loon. The great bear yawned, squirrels dashed through the leaves. Mice hurried across rocky ledges the last duck raced across the dark sky. I touched the frost on the window with my nose. The frost melted away, forming a tiny bowl. I pressed my eye to the hole and looked to the sky. My eye walked in darkness from star to star. The first light found its way through the forest, through the frosted window, and across my face, a new day began. Dried leaves shattered beneath our feet. We hurried through the darkness of the forest. A flock of geese drifted across the sky. They weaved their way from the dark blue patches to patches of clouds. Then they fell beneath the horizon. We walked to the shore where our canoe sat waiting. The sky gave its colors to the water. It was as if our canoe was drifting across the sky. The far shore did not reveal its mysteries of passageways, bays, creeks, and ponds. Hidden in colors lay a beaver's pond. The pond was silent and surrounded by fallen trees. It had a peace not given to any other part of the forest. A squirrel announced our arrival with its chirping. Twigs and leaves floated in the water. A leaf floated in the air and finally rested on the pond, creating a tiny circle that grew and grew until the circle was the same size as the pond. Light winds scattered leaves onto the water and into our canoe. We paddled to an island. Here we would make a fire and eat. Sunlight stole through the trees. Playing, rolling on the ground, I was a leaf. We moved on. walked inland along rocky ledges, up hills covered with fallen trees, and on logs suspended across creeks. We walked until we came to a swamp. There was no silence here. Dead trees cracked back and forth. Tall grass twisted with the wind. A squirrel, squirrel gave its usual warning. Sticks cracked, a deer, maybe. A swamp speaks in many ways.
tracks told the visitors deer, moose, mink, otter, and fisher, and the tracks of many other animals could be seen. We were the only Nishawabe to visit the secret place. We left the swamp. Our footprints mingled the dry leaves and wet mud. They would tell the other animals of our visit to the swamp. The winds grew colder, the sky grew darker. It was now the time to rest. We made a fire. Our canoe was tilted and used as shelter from rain or snow. The night wind howled a warning. The moon and stars were swallowed up by dark clouds. The last leaf fell. I closed my eyes and fell asleep. From the darkness, the first snowflake fell. Night passed. Morning came. The blanket of leaves that yesterday covered the earth was now covered with a blanket of snow. To keep her warm during her long winter sleep, my blanket was also covered in snow. I brushed the snow away. Gone were the colors of yesterday. I arose from the earth and walked into the light of a new season.